Honestly, everything we do is because of the volunteers that we have. We are really made to feel like our voices matter. I think there's been a really big impact with volunteering with CME for tackling mental health stigma and discrimination because there is so much in society and it's about when we go to these events, we create events all the time and we teach young people how to make positive changes. CAMS has a major problem with um, waiting lists and the government is looking currently to develop facilities that will be able to bridge the gap in services that we have and we've been doing various focus groups to find out what young people want. I know a lot of, a lot of friends that have actually contacted me and asked me actually for help and I've obviously shared resources. It's definitely helped them and I think it's helped me because it's given me motivation as well to keep pushing forward my recovery so it's a kind of win-win situation for everybody. My family and my friends, we never talked about our feelings when we were younger and we've all kind of got this massive weight lifted off our chests because we're all just talking about how we feel now. Me and my mate run a podcast, we're two guys and we're trying to get other guys to discuss how they feel, acknowledge that they have feelings and acknowledge that they are allowed to feel a certain way and, and, and that's, I think, quite powerful. <laughs> I talk to kids as young as six and seven now, because I think the quicker you get them, even just instilling a wee bit of knowledge into the kids, it's amazing how it can help them in further you know, years to come. I thought it was a daft idea, a choir to smash stigma and discrimination through social contact. One of the young people in the choir, she put on Instagram afterwards that the choir had done more for her than 10 years of counselling. The happiness, the effect it had on her mental wellbeing, that speaks volumes to me.